Really ho bros, I said here. Today I'm gonna do piercing light bonus stage. I just got done with the story event. And I still have plenty of energy. I have nothing to spend it on, so I decided to do a bonus stage uh, budget guide. Uh, so let's run it through. I don't believe I have any five star or three to four star base friend units up right now, so we're just gonna run it with five people. Alright, so my friend unit, essentially, quote-unquote, would be the Emperor, if you're running a budget guide. You just need a damage dealer. If you have two chainers, chain it up. This is what I'm bringing. My Rosa, as well as everybody else, has uh, 100 to water resist. Rosa is going to be coming in and healing MP battery. And I put the Riku's pouch on her for eccentric and cradle horns for the defense and spirit boost, along with the damage mitigation. Mystia is just going to be using clear veil, magic covering for a little bit, and then just getting in our way. Because there's nothing else for her to do. Vigor Knight Rain. I equipped him with a lightning or a thunder magic and dual cast. And he has an Esper Phoenix for the stone damage, for the elemental damages that we need. Other than that, his gear is a 100 on water resist and a limit break. Feel right. Assassin's Dagger. From the 10 man trial, I got a high tide on it, so hopefully, it fills our limit break quicker. Emperor is just gonna be doing damage. I have Leviathan for 50 water resist, 30 from the rainbow rope, and 20 from uh, Materia. Warrior Light is going to be our physical cover tank. I've ran this a few times in the past, and uh, with the limited gear that I have to run a budget team, he doesn't survive. But we have a pattern down, and we're going to do something to Mystia when we get to that point. Gonna go ahead and run a centric finger night rain. Just gonna be referred to rain from now on. And it's gonna run uh, frozen hurricane to stop that little robot up there. Misty is gonna do clear veil. Warrior light is gonna attack and mag break. We're gonna do a melancholic cell. Gonna add a chance to uh, retaliate physical attacks on allies. So let's get our limit breaks. Fair enough. Vagrant Rain has his limit break. Fire from below begins. Let's do a bless. Try to a wall with Rose with Mystia. And Brave Presence with uh, Warrior Light. Let's go ahead and knock out that earth damage on this turn. Alright, so all we need to do now is defeat IO level 99 with magic or with the uh, limit break, which we have ready for him. All right, is this little robot still stopped? I don't know for how much longer, so we're just gonna go ahead and do charm immunity. And clear valve just to keep it on the same turn. 
And uh, let's frozen hurricane to get some more uh, Esper orbs. Oh, we only got one. That's fine. Brave presence. Gonna do dual white, Kiraga. Misty is gonna try Talia Wall. A vagrant Night Rain. Frozen Hurricane. Try to get that Esper. Set up for the Limit Brick kill. Nope, not quite. But we have other people with limit breaks, so it's okay. Just gonna go ahead and reinstate Misty out here. Gonna start our uh, limit break. It's a limit break kill. We got our Esper gauge. Gonna go ahead and do charm immunity. Kill our Esper, let me break, and then we'll kill this guy. Alright, we're good to go. <laughs> Just making sure we have our uh, earth damage done. Pretty sure we already did it. it. Regularly it'd be my time for bed, but I slept all night. I'm wide awake. I'm probably gonna get some Call of Duty going on here soon. play Call of Duty, uh, leave your comment down below with your player game <laughs> gamer tag for Xbox One. We'll game it up. I just got it yesterday. I, went, I opened the box. I didn't get a chance to play it. It is what it is. Uh, it's going to do fire. Lightning damage twice. Fire from below will take care of the fire damage. Lightning will be done by rain. No limit burst and kill with an Esper. Easy enough. Alright, so we got stopped. Essentially, if you have a 100% uh, provoke cover tank, or a 100% provoke, or 100% draw tank, your draw tank will take the damage there what you can do is dual cast dispel get it off of her but we're gonna just let it let it happen gonna hit clear bell vagrant knight's gonna do the uh lightning damage here Lightning damage done. We're just going to do uh, one fire from below. That's fine. Where your light's going to cover. Alright, 
so warrior light's gonna break now. Uh, all these spirit can be broken from here. All right, so Missia is gonna essentially die right here. Maybe. We'll see. Gonna do dual fire from below. Threshold has been passed. We might all die. Who knows? Let's brace for impact. <laughs> Misty almost died. Just fine. She can stay at that health. I don't need her anymore. So we're just going to do a double fire from below. Oh, you just do one. It won't be fine. So summon the Esper. And hit that fire from below. And Esper damage. Done. Did the lightning. Did the fire damage. Esper kill. Now my previous run that I did not too long ago, Mystia got in the way. So Mystia, um, she's got nothing for me. We're gonna do, we're gonna go with Bless, Vagrant Knight, Rain is going to uh, attack break all it's only a 40 but it's better than the chaos grenade that's a 35 mystia can attack herself for all I care warrior light is gonna get killed fun we already knew that was gonna happen all right so we're gonna go ahead and dual white you know we can just full life essentially what mystia does is she gets in the way She gets in the way of Warrior Light and uh, st stops them from covering the entire team, essentially killing the team. So Warrior Light's going to die again. Um, Rosa, I've maxed her limit break. She full heals and gives a good amount of MP back. So that's where that came from. Going to go ahead and kill this tentacle. And damage that one. We are going to break attack again. Even though I don't think that matters. Warrior Light's going to die regardless. Alright. So full life on Warrior Light. Frozen Hurricane. If you have a beefier tank, like say you might have a Wilhelm, bring him in. He'll do plenty of damage. 
Again, we're resisting all the magic attacks because we do have... Um... We do have a uh, hundred percent water resist or a hundred water resist, and that's all we need. No imperils are done. As you can see, the only damage that's being done is a physical AOE damage, which is being uh, taken care of by uh, our Boar Warrior Light here. Let's go ahead and present Hurricane. Try to get our Esper. Got the Esper. Gonna go ahead and bless with Rosa. Oh, full life. Emperor. I'm just going to do one fire from below. Uh huh. Alright. We're going to entrust Rosa. Just in case we get mana drained. Whirlpool. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and use control. Again, we're not getting damaged by magic. So we're fine there. And let's go ahead and frozen hurricane. A few aspirin. Which we don't need. It's all right. We, we're good. Nothing else better to do with her, so we just go ahead and bless. Where he likes gonna kill himself essentially with that jump about. Alright. So I believe we're at two thousand mag now. Yeah. There should be plenty of damage. We're going to go ahead and dual cast or dual white magic holy. We've used no items. We're about to summon an Esper and kill with magic. So there's our Esper. Holy is being casted. Fire from below. Damage done. Got it done. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below if you have any questions. You want to use my my emperor? I'll set him up as a friend unit. That's fine. I have plenty of friend space. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.